guys feel any pressure given that you guys have started 0-2? This is a must-win game tonight. Um, no more than usual, I don't think. You know, it's our first first year in the AAA. Um, this is my first year with the with the team, but I don't feel like there's any added pressure felt throughout the team. What do you most attribute this 0-2 start to? Um, you know, I, I think it's a, a little bit of everything. Um, it's kind of bumping up uh, to the AAA this year. We've gotten off to a slow start, but you know, we'll work hard. We haven't haven't necessarily gotten as many practices as if we wanted to, um, but. We'll move forward. Are you guys worried about this low team at all's run game or? Sorry? What do you guys fear most? Is it the run or the pass game from this low team? Um, well, I, from what I understand, they have a couple backs that are injured. Um, it was more run that we were worried about tonight. Um, but with, with those injuries, you know, I think we, uh, we stand, a, stand a good chance, so. We needed more practice time. We're getting there. Our consistency is coming. Our timing is coming. Offense is coming along, we're going to be okay. At the end of the game last week, you said that you had to make some adjustments, go back to the drawing board. Can you talk about what adjustments you've made throughout practice this week? As long as Lowe's not listening. <laughs> but um, I think we're good. <laughs> yeah. No, the adjustments we've made was offensively. We made some changes as far as some offensive um, formations, some play calling, and some actual plays. So that allows us to get some more consistency, get some consistency in terms of our blocking schemes, but also transitioning from our run to our pass, pass to run, injecting some play action play. Can you give us an injury update on G and uh, who will you be starting at quarterback tonight? He went to the doctors today, so he called me today and said he was a no-go for today because of the shoulder. We are looking to him week to week, so it will be a week to week basis. Who are you starting today? No, he's not. Uh, yeah, but who are you starting in place of him today? I'm sorry? Who are you starting in place of him? Phoenix, our backup quarterback, number 18. Got good technique, very good technique. He's got a strong arm. He knows the offense. He reads defense as well. It's be a test for him today. Is it easy for you guys to look at this Lowell team? They have a couple of backs who are out to injury and think this is an easy win, or do you have to take this, you know, I mean, how do you preach that? You can't, you know, lose focus. It's never an easy win with Lowell. <laughs> never. <laughs> Make no mistake about it. They, I mean, the War Dogs took them right to the finish last week. So with Malcolm in the middle, never an easy win. All right, so you guys have started off 0-2 this season. Now it's moving up to the AAA. What do you most attribute that to? Uh, contribute to uh, lack of practice. I mean, at this time last season, we had 20-plus practices. This year, we have like 10, so... Lack of practice, lack of coming together. You think that's going to change soon, or yes, is it definitely, is, definitely. We're I, not I, in for a long season here. No, no. We we have to change it or pack up our stuff and go home. Since you guys moved to AAA defensively, have you noticed that the teams have been substantially better? Have you had to change your routine at all, or is it just the same old football? Uh, it's the same old football, but the the, the teams are more more put together. They they play as a unit. There's no, they, they play as one unit. That's basically it. All the other teams is kind of like one superstar to a team. These teams, 11 guys out there, they're playing as one. Defensively for this Lowell team who always plays you guys tough, what is the biggest thing you need to do to win this game? Stop the run early. We stop the run, force them to pass, get them out of their comfort zone. That is ahead.
All right, so coach, defensively, that was a hell of a game from you guys. Uh, two interceptions. What do you like from your defense most tonight? Uh, most important is the communication from my defense. We uh, eliminated some mistakes, uh, and we were able to execute on defense and communicate. Can you talk about the drive towards the end of the first half when some of them had it first down on their own three-yard line? You guys were able to hold them to just three. It's a hell of a defensive stance. Well, you know, we noticed that our guys were a little bit gassed. We ran in some guys, give them some fresh, you know, some fresh legs in there, and um, they held strong. You know, they bent, but they didn't break. So that was the most important thing. Since you guys had some key backs missing today, is this a huge character win for your team? Yeah, I mean, you know, the guys played really. You know, they played together, and that's that's the most important thing. Um, everybody knew that they had to step up. We're missing out, you know, uh, Joe Harris tonight, but uh, everybody did their job, and we did, and we uh, were able to pull off a big victory for us. Is it easy to take an 0 and 2 now an 0 and 3 team lightly? Do you have to preach that to these guys, or no, does everyone know? These no. guys aren't an 0 and 2, 0 and 3 team. They're defending champs in the Division Double A. They're a good team. They're a very well coached team. Uh, we just, you know, we got lucky tonight and uh, you know, got the better of them tonight. What do you think is uh, the biggest problem? I don't think I don't see a big problem. I think you know they were missing their starting quarterback tonight. Now that hurt them a lot. So I mean, uh, there'll probably be a, 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 a closer game when uh, we see them up in Lowell next time. So defensively, you guys caught two picks, caught one of them. Uh, can you talk about your overall defensive effort tonight's game? Uh, our defense just came ready to play. Last week, you know, obviously we uh, took a beating on the pass, so we wanted to come back and come out strong, and that's what we did. Offensively, too, you guys are known to be a running team. I was talking to some of the Somerville players before the game, and they said they were really right about your run, but you guys really threw the deep ball well tonight. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, we always were able to throw the pass. Just when you got a guy like Harris who can run the ball, you got to feed him the ball. So, But now, you know, our receivers got a chance to actually show what they can do, and now it looks good on both ends, so it's nice. Would you say that missing some of your key backs tonight, that this is a, a big character win for you and maybe a little bit more meaningful than any other win, or not really? Um, yeah, well, it's good to see, you know, guys step up and make big plays, fill in nicely, and just show that we don't need one person to win the game. So definitely a big win for us, but, you know, I think it's I think it's just overall. Is it easy to take an 0-2, a now 0-3 Somerville team easy? I mean, do you guys have to talk about that at all? Does everyone know? And I guess also, I mean, what do you see that they're struggling with over there? Well, I, I mean, watching film on them, they execute. They're a really good team. They played every team that they played close. You know, obviously not having their starting quarterback would definitely help. So, um, you know, that hey man, who knows what happens in the game. But, you know, like I said, we just prepared. We were ready to go, and we executed. So I talked to some of the Somerville Rampage guys before the game, and they told me that they were really worried about your run offense. But it looked like you guys really threw the deep ball well tonight. Can you talk about your uh, offensive pass game tonight? Well, today was like a statement game for us. You know, like Joe, Joe Harris, you know, he's been carrying the load. You know, like, so it was basically a statement game for our receivers. It was like either we're going to come to play and take, like, take our role as leaders or, you know, fold and we just wasn't going to fold so I feel like it was a character win. Oh, it's a big character win, no question. Yeah. Can you talk about your pick that you saw in the first half and uh, what you saw on that play? Oh, um, bas basically um, the quarterback would just, he, he looked his receiver down the whole time and, and I just seen it and, and he threw it up and that's my specialty. I like to go up for it so, like, it was pretty easy for me. Defensively, can you talk about the drive at the end of the first half? Some of it had first down within their own five-yard line. You guys managed to hold them off and kept them to three points. How big of a stand was that towards the end of the first half? It was, it was real big. It was real big, and I feel like that 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 propelled us. But you know, that that's what that's what we always do. Working with Keith, you know, he's got the crazy defense, and like that's that's what we do. That's what we've been doing for a long time. Two and one on the season now, bounce back after last week. Uh, how do you guys go to practice this week and uh, get ready for next week? Well, now now that we know that like somebody else besides Joe Harris can step up and take the load, I think it's going to be big. It's going to be dangerous for Boston because we want we want the defending champs. We got them next week, two weeks in a row. So I think it's going to be pretty big, yeah. The guy who uh, carries your team, is he your quarterback or is he your running back? Or? He's a running back. He wears number five. He's like 240 pounds. He looks like Steven Jackson out there. And this was your first week without him? This is our first week without him. He had like three touchdowns two weeks in a row. Like, he, he, he really carries the team. Like, the first week, we, we were up 20, 21, 21 nothing. Uh, the team came back 20, uh, with two touchdowns right back to back. And then this guy broke a 60 yard run. And then, like, last week, we were down 28 7 in the first half. 
And then we came back and he just scored another two touchdowns, got a big two, uh, two point conversion, like he carries us. Like nobody has really had to do anything besides him. So today was definitely big for us. So, so it's huge that you guys know you can win even without him now. Yeah, like, and it's, it's definitely a confidence booster for our receivers, you know, cause like uh, we, we weren't really getting much work out on the, in the game, you know, my dudes. Yeah, you, we weren't really getting much work on the field. So seeing that today, we, we got to do well in the pass game. It gives us a lot of confidence, you know? All right, so uh, offensively, I was talking to uh, some of the Somerville Rampage guys before the game, and they were real scared of your run offense, but you guys really threw the deep ball well tonight. Can you talk a little bit about your deep ball execution? Well, I mean, you know, Joe Harris is our number one back. He's been carrying us all year, all year. So we didn't have him tonight, so we needed. We knew that we needed to open it up. They knew that we were having at least 300 rushing yards a game. So, you know, our receivers really stepped up today. Our O-line was really holding them. You know, Peter and Fernando, those those are some monster ends. So they were getting in there. So our, our O-line held up. Luckily, I could just stay back there for a little while, and our receivers did everything else. So it was, it was nice to come out here with a win. Was you, or did you guys talk before the game about having a pause-heavy offense to kind of, you know, they probably weren't expecting that, or is that just the way the game played out? Well, I mean, it honestly, it's just how it played out. Because like I said, we were missing Joe. We knew that come on Tuesday. So we had to readjust kind of what we do. Uh, we're definitely our run-heavy team for sure. Um, he's probably the MVP so far. So, you know, when you don't have him in a game, you have to kind of readjust. So luckily, Emilio, he's a great coach. He knew what we had to do. Uh, we know Somerville. We've all played against them. We know a couple of dudes on the team. So we were just trying to come out here and execute. Luckily, that we did. How big of a character win is it that you guys lose the guy who's been carrying you all season? You guys come out and, and really blow him out. How big of a character win is this? I mean, I wouldn't say blowout. It was only 28-10. Um, but I mean, it was definitely a good game. It was a huge win for us. You know, going down one and one in the beginning of the season, like after last week, we didn't think that we were going to go down like that. So we really wanted to come out and do what we could do. Um, luckily, we definitely executed across all the board. Um, you know, they're going to have they're going to have Geo next time. So that's going to be a whole entire different ball game. You know, that man is an absolute monster. So we're going to come out here with the win, which is very nice. But, you know, we got Boston next week. The week after that, we don't see the Rampage for a while. Two and one on the season now. Going forward, uh, how do you guys feel about the rest of the way? We feel pretty good, you know. I mean, we're always a very confident team, regardless of who we're playing against. We always think that we're going to win. That's just a fact. Any team thinks that. So, you know, two and one is a very nice feeling. There's definitely going to be a couple two and one teams and definitely a three and oh team. So everyone's in the mix right now. You know what I'm saying? Once once the red page, <laughs> once the red page start doing, start doing, you know, getting Geo back, getting more in the rhythm, they're going to pull out some wins too. You know, their first two games were extremely close. It all comes down on one play. So defensively, this was kind of a struggle for you guys, obviously. Uh, I know you guys were expecting a lot of run game from them, and they really threw the long ball on you a lot. Uh, was that a surprise to you guys? Did you not see that coming? Surprise? You no, know, I can't say that a surprise. I mean, the, uh, the book or the history on us is well documented. Every snap we've ever taken is on film, and, you know, the, the scouting report is, you know, tough to run on, but you might be able to throw over their heads, man, and, you know, that held true today. What do you most attribute? Just, you know, was it, I mean, it seemed like you guys were like one step behind most of the night on defense. I mean, would you say that's true? Or, I mean, what do you attribute this loss to? I mean, I wouldn't be able to refute that. I mean, you know what I mean? We're battling injuries, but so is everybody else. The unfortunate part is week three, we're down seven starters. Um, you know, it's really hard. On average, we're probably the youngest team uh, in, the, in the North, you know, but um, can't use that as an excuse either. We didn't show up the way we should have today. We got our butts kicked, and maybe we needed that. Moving up from Double A AA to AAA this year, has this the fact that you guys are you know so beaten up? Has this football gotten more aggressive that you guys just maybe underestimated a little bit? Is is that part of this or Negative. is it just bad luck? Negative. I mean, good football teams have depth, and you know we've been bitten by the injury bug, and you know we're paying for it. I, I mean, I, I see a lot of the interviews, and oftentimes you do allude to the double A versus triple A thing, man. We come here, we play football. It, uh, we line up, you know, you beat the guy in front of you when it comes down to it, man, you know? I, I, I don't think, I mean, obviously, like, the teams that we're playing, they're, they're talented teams, and, you know, you play a team that could potentially kick your ass every week, but, I mean, I don't, other than that, man, I don't, I don't see a big difference. I hear you. And one last question for you. The end of the game, things got a little chippy. There was a little bit of fighting going on. I mean, can you tell us a little bit about what was going on there, or I mean, anything in particular to stop that? No, that's football. We got, I mean, you know, you got emotions running high, man. You got guys that love the sport, and you got, you know, a lot of young guys, man. They, 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 
you know they're really high they get really high they get really low you need you need the the even kill guys to go ahead and sell everybody down you know the experienced guys the veterans they got to sell everybody down but you need that from both teams otherwise one person can incite the crowd and then things you know go haywire but that's not what took place today man it was just guys that love football